The Polaris Indy, in all its many forms, was built and sold for more than 20 years. The success of the Indy is unparalleled in the snowmobile industry, and quite possibly in the entire power sports world. The name invoked respect because Indy meant suspension, handling, reliability, and class-leading performance. Polaris has to be very careful how they leverage the enormous equity, respect, and charisma of the Indy handle. Obviously, the name commands attention and respect. However, what kind of feeling will you get when you check out the new Indy line and take one for a spin? If buyers think Indy means cheap, Polaris just blew 20 years of hard work making Indy mean all the good stuff it currently does. If when you look at the new Indies you see value, well, that's a whole nother deal. It's reasonable to ask, where did the new Indy come from? It's an intriguing story and one which we uncovered a couple years ago when we produced the history of the ProRide Rush. Here's where the new Indy came from. When Polaris began development of a new sled platform back in the middle 00s, they launched two projects in tandem. One was codenamed Blackjack and ultimately became the ProRide Rush. The other platform was the sled we're talking about, the reinvented Indy. The reason the company developed two new sleds at the same time was directly tied to the potential risk associated with the ProRide's radical external shock rear suspension. Polaris hedged their bets and ensured they wouldn't get painted into a corner if the ProRide Rush didn't meet their expectations before going to production. As it turns out, the ProRide suspension not only met their expectations, but exceeded them, and the rest is now history. It's model year 2013, and Polaris decides they want to reinvigorate the marketplace with a sexy, high-value snowmobile which delivers outstanding performance for a very attractive MSRP. The Rush ProRide platform was simply too costly to spawn a segment-breaking, high-performance, value-priced snowmobile. With the Indy platform essentially a Rush front clip with an IQ tunnel and rear skid, fully developed and ready for production, snowmobile division boss Mike Jonicus and Lieutenant Chris Wolf called up the Indy and slid a Clean Fire 600 under its hood for model year 2013. And guess what? It worked. The Indy 600 sold well. Buyers were seemingly hypnotized by Indy cachet and the sled's lightweight feel, a full 15 pounds lighter than the Rush 600 Pro Ride, and the sled's crazy top end speed, characterized by the legendary Indy finger walk past the C note. If power is good, then more power should be gooder, right? Polaris inserted their 150 plus horsepower Clean Fire Liberty 800cc twin in the Indy chassis for model year 2014 and Kapow scored another home run. The new Indy 800's MSRP sticks out like a sore thumb among the competition's 800 class offerings. The value contained in this high performance package is outstanding. So much so, we're convinced potential buyers need only pull the trigger once on this bullet and their wallets will fall right out of their Wrangler. As a result of a recent development in the power sports industry, specifically the introduction of the ridiculously low-priced Sea-Doo Spark personal watercraft, a question looms large in our sport. We've heard from many of our readers and viewers wanting to know if Skidoo is prepared to do a low-cost Spark snowmobile. The power sports industry suffered heavily at the hands of the economic recession, and according to insiders, the entire industry has only returned to about 65% of its pre-2008 sales volume. However, there appears to be a common denominator required to reignite potential power sports buyers, price. As the economy recovers, value conscious buyers are coming back into the snowmobile, watercraft, marine, motorcycle, and ATV and side-by-side -side markets. Polaris may have beaten Skidoo at this game with the high value, high performance Indy 600 and 800. The Indy name will endure, because this is a really good snowmobile. The question remains though for Polaris and the other snowmobile OEMs. Is the Indy value equation strong enough to attract former buyers and new buyers? We're betting Polaris made the right move with the reinvented Indy.